Hello everyone, welcome to MSFTE webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create and configure enrollment status page policy using Microsoft Intune. This is the third part of the mini video series on Windows Autopilot deployment. Till now, we have manually registered device with Autopilot and created Autopilot test device group. In this video, we will create a new enrollment status page profile for Windows Autopilot devices. The enrollment status page displays the progress of device provisioning when a new device enrolled to Intune or a new user sign in to the device. We can also see enrollment status page during the default out-of-box experience for Azure AD Join or Windows Autopilot scenarios. We can configure the enrollment status page to block device use until all required policies and applications are installed. Device users can look at the enrollment status page to track how far along their device is in the setup process. To deploy the enrollment status page to devices, we have to create an enrollment status page profile in Microsoft Indian. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Devices. Under Device Enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. Under General, this time we need to click on Enrollment Status page. If you have never configured enrollment status page in your Intune, then you will only see the default profile name all users and all devices. It is recommended not to modify this profile as it by default targets all users and devices. Modifying this will change the user's first time logon experience on Azure AD Join and hybrid Azure AD Join configurations. Instead, create a new profile. Click on Create button to create new enrollment status page profile. On the Basics page, provide a name and description for this new enrollment status page profile. We have given name, test, or the pilot as already join ESP. Click Next. In Settings page, configure the settings as per your requirements. Select No if you don't want to show the enrollment status page to users during device setup. We will select Yes to show App and Profile Configuration Progress on Enrollment Status page to users. Here we have a setting named Show an Error when installation takes longer than specified numbers of minutes. The default timeout is 60 minutes. So the question is, is these 60 minutes enough for deployment? The answer depends on your requirement. Some enterprises may have many configuration profiles, policies, and apps to deploy. If you can't deploy them within the 60 minutes, your autopilot deployment will error out. So enter a higher value if you think more time is needed to install apps on your devices. In our example, we will go with the 60 minutes as that time is enough for us. Next, we have setting name show custom message when time limit or error occurs. Using this setting, we can include a message that tells people what happened and whom to contact for help if error occurs. So here, predefined message is there and for this test example, we are not going to change it. So this message will display to user if user reach to time limit 
or if any error occurs during the deployment. The user's logs and diagnostics could aid with troubleshooting. So it is recommended to select yes for this setting. We will keep yes selected for the next setting. So the enrollment status page is only display on devices that go through the out of box experience. For block device use until all apps and profiles are installed, select no if you want to allow user to leave enrollment status page before configuration finished. We will keep yes selected as we don't want to allow user to use device until device configuration is not completed. The next, you can select yes if you want to allow your user to reset the device in case when the installation fail. We'll go with the no which is by default selected. We have another option to allow users to use device if installation error occurs. The enrollment status page gives users the option to bypass the enrollment status page and use their devices even when installation fails. Select yes if you want to allow them, else select no. In this example, we'll go with the default which is no. The last option will restrict device usage until all mandatory applications are installed. Default all option is selected for this setting. That means enrollment status page will block the device use until all required apps installed on the device. We can also select the apps from our applications that have been pre-staged into Intune. Let me show you that. Click on selected. Click on select apps. And from the list, you can select your app which you want to include. Close the page and let me select all. From here, you can adjust the settings as per your organization's requirement. Once you configure the settings as per your requirement, click on next to continue. We will assign this profile to Autopilot Taste Devices Security Group, which we have created for our Autopilot devices. On assignments page, click on add groups. From the list, select Autopilot Taste Devices. Click on select and click on next. On scope tags, select a tag to limit profile management to specific groups. Default scope tag is already selected and we will go with the default scope tag. Click on next. In review plus create page, review the settings which you have configured for this enrollment status page profile. Click on create and wait for the confirmation message. The profile is created successfully and we can see another notification profile successfully assigned. Now let me close this. So the enrollment status page profile is now created successfully and we can see the same in enrollment status page profile list. We can confirm that the newly created enrollment status page profile has been assigned with the highest priority. In this video, we have created new enrollment status page profile in our Indune and we have assigned that profile to our security group named Autopilot Taste Devices. In the next video, we will create an Autopilot deployment profile and assign it to our Autopilot deployment security group. That's all for this video on how to create and assign an enrollment status page profile using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.